for today's tutorial, I want to go over how to add and edit pages in Canvas. And so if you saw the last tutorial on creating a module, you'll recognize these elements down here because I just put those in. And so I always say this, there's multiple ways to do the same thing in Canvas. And so if you want to edit your page, I can just click on it and it'll take me to um, edit. Or if I wanted to, I could click this drop down here and edit. And if I want a new page altogether, I can just click on pages and then add a new page. And so um, with this page here, what I want to do, I want to title my page um, Happy Dance, for example. And then here in the directions, and so this is where I might want to put my directions. And so I'll say today and Let's do a dance, okay. And so in this, I can change the font color if I want to change the font color. Why would I change it to yellow? That makes no sense. Let's change it to that color. And then I can do bold if I want to. I can italicize this. So that's all your basics. Um, the only thing that you, another thing I wanna point out is that um, although I can change the font size and I can change um, the heading, I cannot change the font itself because in Canvas, they want to make it accessible for everyone. And so sometimes like different letters, they look the same. So like G's and P's and Q's, those get kind of confused sometimes based on whatever font it is. But in this font, it's perfect. Everybody can read it and it's perfect, it's just perfect. So moving on, if I want to highlight, I can definitely highlight, that's a function that's right there. But, um, and then these are your basics. And so moving down here, if I want to add a link, this is cool because I can ha add an external link, which means something outside of Canvas, or I can add a course link, which will take me to um, a page that's directly in Canvas, all right? And so another thing I can do is add media and so um i want to i can upload an image from my computer from the web these are images i already have and these are ones that are already in the course but i'm going to go to upload image and then what i can do is upload one from my computer or i can go here to unsplash now with unsplash everything is free and i don't have to worry about any type of copyright infringement because everything here is free so what was my title dancing so i'm going to type in dancing and let's see what pops up dancing. All right. There we go. All right. I like this guy's moves. Let's pick this one. Whoa, look how huge that is. I need to resize that for sure. So I'm going to drag these corners here and I'm going to pull them down and I'm going to keep on pulling because dude is huge. All right. Now I'm going, and then formatting is kind of weird sometimes, and so you just kind of have to play with it. Like you saw how I clicked in the screen and I just used my arrow key to go over. Now I'm gonna just press enter, so that way it's right under here and it's nice and neat. So today's Happy Friday, let's do a dance. So there's my image. Now, what I could do if I wanted to is link this photo and it turn it into a button of sorts. And so, cause you know in Canvas you can create buttons, and so what I might want to do is take this and link it, for example, go down here, and I could link this to an external link and I could put in, for example, a YouTube video of somebody doing a happy dance and we could all do that dance together. All right, so that's an option that I can do. I can link this photo, I can link the words however I want. Another thing I can do is add in video or audio. And so here, I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna insert my Bitmoji. I'm gonna take this one. I'm just gonna copy it and put my cursor. I'm gonna click exactly where I want the photo to be. I'm gonna paste it in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is come up here and I'm gonna upload some media. Now, I don't have any audio saved, so I'm gonna record it fresh right now. Happy Friday, boys and girls. It's time to get our fancy pants on and let's dance. All right, so I'm going to title this 
I titled it Fancy Pants Dance. It's important to title it because this gets saved in your course files and you want to know what it is that you just saved so that you know how to use it. All right. And so there is my file and I can move that around um, and change it. So that way it kind of looks like she's talking. And so another thing that I could have done in that same section, record, and I could have recorded my from my webcam. And so that's if I wanted to record my actual directions, okay? But I don't have to do that, I can if I want, but um, it's your choice. Or of course, you can embed a code from YouTube, from a different website, from any other place, just embed a code and it'll pop up here on your screen. Now, you can also include PDFs, different documents if you want, um, whatever you want to put on this page. Remember, a page is not an assignment. They're not doing anything with this. This is just a place to give them information to kind of set the tone for the day, for the week, for that unit, okay? So now I'm going to go into, um, oh, well, you can make a table too if you want. I'll show you that super quick. So if you, if I wanted to, I can insert the table however big I want it. And I like tables actually because they help, they can, it's a great way for you to organize things. And so for me, for example, down here's my table. I'm actually going to cut this and that picture and I'm going to put it inside my table. I'm going to cut this as well. I'm going to paste it inside my table. So now you see it's kind of a little more um, organized there. All right, moving forward. This is for my math people. You can insert math equations, all right? And so I'll leave you to explore that one on your own if you're the, the math type of person. Okay, apps. I really like this little plug here, as some people call it. Um, and so if you look, you'll see all the different apps that I have installed that are integrated with Canvas. And so some of these apps that I need are not installed and so I'll show you very quickly how to go and install those apps. One of those, YouTube. So I'm going to click on YouTube and then it's going to allow me to pick a video. So I'm going to put in Happy by Pharrell. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to, I can click this drop down if I want and choose how do I want to embed it. I just need a small video. Or I can just put the link if I want. If I want the video, so I'm going to embed the small video, and there it is. Now remember, your video is going to pop up wherever you have your cursor. So my cursor was clicked right there under her, so that's why it showed up there. Okay, and so I'm going to go back into these apps, and then let's say that I had, for example, let's say I had a Google Doc that had um, the directions already on it. So I could go here to this Google Doc with my directions already written out, and I could paste that in to be like, oh, hey, by the way, these are the directions for what I want you to be doing, so check that out. And so if you look down here, you'll see my Google Slide Scavenger Hunt is in here and it's posted. And so keep in mind, this thing looks horrendous right now, but it's because I'm trying to give you just a super quick tutorial. And um, whenever you have time on your own, you'll be able to explore with your page and make it look exactly how you want to make it look. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how you can um, create a button, for example. And so let's say that I want to create a button that's going to link my kids to their very first assignment. So I'm going to leave that on the home screen. So what I'm going to do is, and there's multiple ways you can do this. Remember, Canvas is very versatile. What I'm going to do is go to upload image, and I'm going to go to unsplash and see if I can get like a smiley face smiley face all right and so um i like this one actually so i'm gonna click this smiley face where did it go i need to resize that because oh my gosh it's huge all right continuing to resize 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 now it's itty bitty 
I'm going to cut that because I don't even want it down there. And I'm going to put it right up here. And so I might want to say something like, click the... Click the smiley face for your first assignment, for example. And so now I'm going to turn this image into a button. So I have here, and now I'm going to go to link, and I'm going to link it to a course link. And so in here, I'm going to go to my assignments, and I'm going to decide which one do I want. And I'm going to put this, or I'm going to link this to, for example, hand washing 101. And I know hand washing has literally nothing to do with, hey, let's do our happy dance. But again, it's just an example for of things that you could potentially do. All right, so now I'm done with my page, my very messy, unorganized page. And I'm going to go down all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to save and publish that page. And so now if I look at this, I'll see this is my page. And obviously you are going to edit yours and you're going to make it look amazing and beautiful but now at least you know where the toolbar is you know three different ways to create that page and you can insert some cool apps along the way